Yo, how's it going, Life Made Easy fans? It's Justin Fear, and today I'm going to be going over how you can change your Fortnite resolution to stretch res in 2019. Let's get right into the video. Yeah, I'm like, oh god, oh, oh my god. Hey guys, before the video starts, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also check out my merch store and my Discord. Let's go. Hey okay, guys, today's show is be going to a guy named Stratree. 20 subscribers, uh, seems to upload some Fortnite gameplay, and yeah, go subscribe to him guys, and I'll top another video. So to actually get your stretch res on Fortnite in 2019, the first step you're going to want to take is in the bottom left of your Windows 10 uh, search bar, you're going to want to type percent app data percent, and it's going to come up with a file folder, and then you're going to want to click app data at the top. You're going to then want to click local and then you're going to want to go down where it says Fortnite game. Mine is right here. You click saved, config, windows client, and then game user settings. And before you click on to game user settings, you want to first look at the properties of the folder and make sure the read only is not checked. If this is checked, then it will not, uh, it will not save what you have altered. So once you go into this, it's going to come up with a notepad. And here is where you change your resolution right here. So what you're going to have to do is type in your desired resolution. Uh, for instance, my resolution I play on is 1600 by 1080. This really isn't stretch res, but it is. It still feels like native, but it's just a little bit stretched to lower your FPS if you're having FPS issues, as well as um, if you're trying to make your targets look a little bit bigger. Um, some other resolutions I, I recommend are 1440. 40 by 1080 that's a very popular one but for the sake of this video i'm going to stick with my resolution of the 1600 by 1080 so once you have your resolutions you're going to go ahead and type save and once you do that you're going to have to go into your nvidia control panel so i have an nvidia graphics card if i do not have uh, an amd graphics card so unfortunately i cannot help you with that but this is how you do it with the NVIDIA control panel. So, um, if you need to customize the resolution you made, you can do it here by easily picking create custom resolution and, and typing the horizontal vertical pixels and your refresh rate that you desire. Um, or you can pick one of the ones that they offer you. So you don't have to do that, but since 1600 by 1080 is not offered, um, I had to do the custom resolution. So once you go ahead and apply your resolution, you're going to want to go to adjust si desktop size and position. Uh, once you do that, you want to make sure it's full screen selected and not aspect ratio, because then if you have aspect ratio, depending on what kind of res you have, you're going to have black bars on the left and right side of your screen, which you do not want if you're playing stretch res. The whole purpose of this is to have your pixels be stretched across your screen. So after you do that and apply, you're going to see that your desktop is now changed to that resolution. And if you ever want to go back to change your resolution back to native uh, or any other resolution, you can just go down to um, where it says PC and click apply. And then after you take those steps, you can then launch your Fortnite. And to make sure and see if it works, you just have to launch your uh, Fortnite, go into video uh, under your settings and look at your 3D resolution. Make sure that it is your desired resolution as well as your display resolution, which is my 1600 by 1080. Um, I recommend also, um, since I like graphics with this resolution, you also want to turn off shadows. Um, and make sure your V-Sync and motion blur are off if you want to optimize the highest FPS you can possibly get in this game. And now I'm going to roll into a little bit of uh, gameplay so you'll be able to see what exactly this looks like.
you enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do me a huge favor and hit that big red sub button on the top right of your screen, as well as leave a like and a comment on the video. Uh, please turn on your post notifications as well for Life Made Easy because we are going to be posting our 5k subscriber special uh, very soon. I know we're a little bit late, bear with us, uh, we're almost 400 subscribers past 5,000 and we're very grateful for that. You guys are showing us tremendous feedback. And yeah, this is Justin from Life Made Easy signing out. Peace.